I have a dream. <laughs> but, but I don't actually have a dream. So Sean Archer has one. I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, I woke up at 4 o'clock on a Monday morning and I thought I'd better write this down. I, it was 20, 24 on Monday morning and I was awake in a different Scotland, in a very different film landscape. This is how it is in 2024. Film production in Scotland had stabilised after the heady years of 2020 when two different Scottish films, from the Cannes Palm d'Or and the Oscar for Best Film, the five leading film companies, all made different, grew out of the great collaboration of 2015, when working as a cooperative, Scottish film companies benefited from a huge injection of public support from Creative Scotland and Scottish Enterprise. Sorry, my hands are shaking because the dream is escaping. <laughs> <laughs> Building on the film's position as being both cultural and industrial, IPS developed a collaborative and cooperative plan that did good for all. The pooling of resources meant that any company of scale was able to draw upon legal, business, and creative development support while freeing producers to do what they should be doing, produce. And the companies involved, ranging from low budget to high, fiction to documentary and animation, benefited from their joint knowledge, drawing on each other's experience and expertise. Of course, the timing was perfect. The ERDF fund for Scottish Films in 2015 provided a huge extra resource for production funding. Following Scotland's decision for extra tax breaks for production in Scotland, combined with the attraction of new EIS funds, Scotland could draw on an unprecedented production capital. This was a virtuous circle, with a new studio providing the production space and an appetite for throughput of new projects. Joining Yorimarge in 2016 provided a shot in the arm for co-production, as producers forged links all over Europe. The locally produced Great Heart 2, set in the immediate future rather than the past, imagined a new vision for Scotland and gave its name to the new distribution model, with films being released in cinemas and on home screens via the Great Heart Network. The buzz and excitement around new Scottish productions on their home turf was matched by a growing international following, with audiences around the world eagerly awaiting the new Scottish films. The pool of writers available to producers had expanded greatly not only due to the increased training courses dedicated to script production, but also thanks to the Swinney Charter, which meant that any creative writer living and working in Scotland lived tax-free, provided at least 50% of their work went on qualifying qualify Scottish productions, whether books, poetry, television, or usually film. Just exactly what is a Scottish film has developed in many different ways since being defined at the 2014 Film Summit. But both legally and creatively, it's now firmly established and best of all, recognised and loved by audiences all over the world. 